Well, hello, long time no see. Be relatable though. I've been holding out for me. I've been holding out for a long time. And the kids are home. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> sending me emails and DMs on Instagram and comments and you guys have been missing me and I'm like are you kidding me it actually kind of made me feel really good because I've been missing you guys too hey guys what's up long time no see I know don't jump on me let me let me just explain what's been going on guys what's up and welcome to today's video so I know it has been a hot minute since you have probably seen my face I've I've kind of just needed a little bit of a hiatus I needed to take a break and I needed to uh, fall into a place of self-care and I needed to just slow down and sort of listen to my body and rest a little bit and um, I was sick and everything is okay now and it wasn't like detrimental or anything like that I just got sick which kind of like knocked me down for the count I don't think that I was depressed and I'm not depressed like that wasn't it like I was just in a funk I used a lot of that downtime to really just kind of be lazy and not do much and get much needed rest if that's what my body was telling me that it needed you know twice a week I've been teaching my movement classes in a studio and so aside from that I was really starting to put this focus into just being here and at home with the kids I think that sometimes I pressure myself to try to get all of these things done that nothing ever gets done I've been just on a little personal hiatus and I feel like it was good I feel like it was good for me I feel like it was good for you when your favorite show goes on its off season and then it comes back and you're all like super excited so let's just call it that but um but just think of it like that and I am back and we are here and I am alive and we are alive so in all of that time that I was missing that month that I've been kind of MIA during that time you guys like real talk I was not doing anything I wasn't doing anything and I think what happened and what clicked for me one day is I took a look around and I'm like you know what if your outer is a reflection of your inner like I'm all fucking tore up on the inside right now because everything around me was looking like a mess and I think that that was kind of keeping me in bed and keeping me feeling crappy was because like my surroundings and everything around me was looking crappy I don't think I've done laundry in like three weeks I'm just really not looking forward to the amount of laundry that I have to do I have so much laundry to do during that time I was able to kind of just do like some thinking about the channel and kind of what I want to do with this YouTube channel. I, I feel like when I started the channel I, I didn't know what I was doing or why I was even really starting a channel. You know I just kind of thought that it would be fun and it would be something and now that it kind of is something you know I feel like I've built a community of friends here and I like doing this and I like being able to help or inspire you guys or if it's just by showing you guys my life or my DIY projects or you know me cleaning the house I feel like um, the channel has kind of evolved and I was thinking about changing the channel name to just probably my name because uh, the kids are getting older and uh, rumor has it they might want to be starting their own channels and you know we've always kind of been like homebodies we don't do too much and so I just wasn't really sure like what direction to take the channel like what kind of videos to do I'm not into doing like a ton of prank videos and stuff like that like it's just you know I mean I like them sometimes I like to watch them I know the kids like to watch them but it, it just really isn't my speed I feel like I have a little bit of a voice in the world and want to make my channel like entertaining but you know in a way where I can still share valuable and useful information with you guys too um a lot of thinking but I think I'm going to keep it as growing with the greens and continue to allow this to just be sort of like our vlog channel and you know cleaning inspo like all things home and family um and cooking and 
you're growing with us and growing with me and maybe when I named it growing with the greens I didn't realize like what that would mean here we are three years later but I think that you are definitely growing with our family so you know you kind of got to roll with the changes that come with the family anyway so yeah so how are you guys how is everybody doing like I hope you guys are okay what has really been going on so okay so I feel like I gotta give you guys all the juice because I've been missing for a little while so if you follow me on Instagram then you've seen Instagram stories of some of what goes on I try to do Instagram stories every single day but um so I started my paper bag flooring with my wood floor and then we had to stop and pause on the project because you know I mean we just got to be able to afford to finish all of our stuff so that had to stop and so my floor is still half done but I'm getting ready to start that back up next week so I'm really excited to finally get the floor finished and I'll show you guys a little bit of what it looks like in case you didn't catch that little sneak peek that I threw in the last video every single time I changed some furniture around again I am uh, really wanting a new couch we really need a new couch we've had our couches for a long time like the wear and tear is starting to get super real I'm tired of looking at them and so I don't know I haven't really started the shopping around process on a couch or where I want to get it from or anything like that I'm not even really sure what kind of style of couch our living room is so small and I feel like it's such awkwardly shaped that I mean a certain type of couch has to go in there in order for it to look right so I brought in the other piece of our sectional and I put my couch back together so now it's super massive again and I'll probably just leave it like that throughout the summer and then hopefully at the end of summer like maybe we can get a new couch I'm really excited to finish the floor and then when I finish the floor I'm gonna go and do a little bit of shopping so that I can decorate for summer and I'm probably a little bit on the late freight with all of that but like I said I'm just I'm just climbing out of this like really shitty hole and you know I mean one thing at a time one thing at a time so the kids went on summer break Monday was their first day off and uh, so far so good I have to put together some like chore charts and a couple of different activity sheets and stuff I got to keep these kids in line and all of this just freedom all day every day is not gonna work here in this house we're gonna come up with some fun ways to like do little charts and structures and then that way you know I can get everybody kind of on some kind of a little schedule so we're not just running amok and so that everybody's not in the kitchen all day long talking about how hungry they are and talking about how bored they are and not sharing the tv and all of that other drama that comes along like with summer vacation so it's pretty late already in the afternoon it's 2 51 michaela's hanging out both of the littles are down they're not sleeping they're supposed to be sleeping they're not sleeping we are officially on summer break we are officially vlogging welcome to the summer vlogs let's get this day started Hey guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for stopping by if this is your first time stopping by to hang out with us hey and welcome uh, feel free to take a look around at any of our other videos and if you like what you see I would love to welcome you into our growing fam and you can continue to grow with us I will see you in the next video bye if I didn't ride blade on curve would you still Lovely. if I'm in my mind at work would you still Lovely. keep it 100 I'd rather you trust me than to Lovely.